This episode is brought to you by Dashlane. Try Dashlane Premium free for 30 days at www.dashlane.com slash infographics. And never forget another password and keep all your online accounts secure. I want to see good financial returns, but also to me there's the extra psychic return of having my creativity and technological vision bear fruit and change the world in a positive way, Jeff Bezos once said. While some may question if he's made the world a better place, we can certainly say he's made some good financial returns. He is the richest man in the world, and it's reported that he was worth $143,810,231,459.23 at 3.55 p.m. on February 26, 2019. This number will of course fluctuate, and it's said his divorce will take a considerable chunk out of his fortune. Before we talk about how he made his billions, let's first try to get it into our heads just how much cash this man has. As we said, his worth changes a lot, and that's due to many factors, but let's just say for now he has around $140 billion. According to the International Monetary Fund in 2018, that would give him a nominal gross national product (GDP) around the size of Kuwait, which comes around 58 on the list of GDPs around the world when that list was created. As one media outlet stated in 2018, Jeff Bezos is now richer than Iceland, Tunisia, Jamaica, and Estonia combined. What does this translate to? Someone already did the math for us in 2018 regarding his yearly earnings broken down into smaller time frames. We're told that it's estimated that he makes almost $1.5 billion a week, around $213 million a day, $8.9 million an hour, $149,000 plus dollars every minute, and $2.4,000 per every second that goes by. Yep. For every minute he lies in bed, watches reruns of The Apprentice, picks his nose, or carves a pineapple, he's earning as much as a very well-paid employee in the United States earns in a year. In an hour, he's rich, and in a day, he's taken in more than most people in the entire world could only wish for. If you're watching this from Malawi, where the World Bank states the gross national income per year is on average 320 bucks, you might be trying to get your head around how much time it takes Mr. Bezos to earn your yearly wage. The answer, in short, is not very long at all, maybe about the time it takes to blink if you do it fast. You get the picture. This man is mind-bogglingly rich. Imagining his wealth is like trying to fathom just how many planets and stars there are moving about in the cosmos. Let's just say he is cosmically rich, astronomically wealthy, and it's universally accepted that no one knows how to create a cash stack like Jeff. But how did he do that? Well, we first have to look at young Jeff, the millionaire in the making, the billionaire in the beginning. Bezos was born on January 12, 1964. That makes him a Capricorn. And if you believe in that kind of thing, you'll know this star sign is supposed to be ambitious, proud, and goal-oriented. He took his first breaths in Albuquerque, New Mexico, but was raised in Houston, Texas. He wasn't from some rich family, and when he came screaming into this world, his mom was a 17-year-old high school student, and his pop owned a bike shop. These two got married, and they became the Jorgensen family. But that didn't last long, and when Jeff was four, his mother married a Cuban man named Miguel Bezos, sometimes called Mike. If you're wondering what happened to Jeff's birth father, in 2013 USA Today said Ted Jorgensen had just found out who his son was and wanted to reconnect. I didn't know where he was, if he had a good job or not, or if he were alive or dead, he was quoted as saying. So we have a young Jeff and his mother and her new husband. They were still not well off, but Mike got himself a degree and ended up working as an engineer. It's said even at a young age, Curious Jeff was interested in how things worked in his home, and at times he was able to rig contraptions of his own around the house. He graduated from messing with his family's appliances and moved on to more scientific work in high school, where he graduated as valedictorian. It it was there he started his first enterprise, an educational summer camp called the Dream Institute. At this time, he was also fascinated with computers. In 1986, he left Princeton University with a 4.2 grade point average, and he was a whiz at computer science, as well as being a young man that was seen as exceptional in many areas. You can't really go wrong after that, and he soon was offered jobs at lots of big firms, but he settled with a position at FinTech. Soon after, he worked for the investment firm D.E. Shaw, and that's where he met his wife-to-be, the novelist Mackenzie Tuttle. This is not a family show, but a money show, although we'll tell you that he had three sons with her and they also adopted a girl from China. That likely went very well for a while, but after some time being separated, his wife did what she did best and penned a letter. 
This was a Twitter post that announced her and Jeff were splitting up. We certainly aren't going to go into the controversial things that happened after that, but suffice to say, they had some marital problems. If she gets her 50% of his wealth, she will become the richest woman in the world. Ok, back to the cold hard cash question. In 1993, Bezos started an online bookstore. A year later, he founded a company some of you might know called Amazon. This wasn't his first choice of name, but he settled with Amazon because the jungle was massive and exotic and that's what his company would be. The Amazon jungle is packed with an incredible array of flora and fauna, and his company would become packed with an incredible number of things. He had to borrow some cash to get this started, and while it only sold books in the beginning, he always said later Amazon would branch out into many products. But books were successful alone, and in a month his company was selling them to people in 45 countries, bringing in $20,000 a week for the startup. A few years later, and with millions raised for his now public company, he started to include music and many other consumer products. At the time, many other dot com businesses were failing or sunk, but not Amazon. It said yearly sales in 1995 were around $510,000, but in 2011, a cool $17 billion. But rewinding a little, we must remember that Bezos started to put his long fingers in many other pies. In 2002, he launched the cloud computing platform. Amazon Web Services, something which would end up being very useful not just for companies or individuals but for governments. Amazon also came out with the Amazon Kindle in 2007. Another area he went into was publishing, and in 2013 he bought the Washington Post Company. What else did he do? Well, a lot, really. Amazon has an AI arm, which if you follow tech news has done things like develop facial recognition technology. The company that became the world's biggest shipping firm has come up with novel ways to deliver packages such as by drone, and has implemented new technologies into its warehouses. Then there's the video on demand service Amazon Prime, and original content producer Amazon Studios, and also Amazon Publishing. You also have cashless Amazon Go stores, and the $13.4 billion acquisition of the Whole Foods Market, a specialist supermarket. In terms of revenue, Amazon was said to be the biggest tech company in the world in 2018, with a revenue of $232 billion. It's also said to be worth in the region of $800 billion, but Apple beats Amazon for first place in that category at a value of around $930 billion. Amazon also employs quite a few people, with 613,300 folks working for the company around the world. The question now is, how does all this success relate to cash going into Mr. Bezos' rather large pockets? Well, as you can guess, the main part of the business is the website Amazon.com. You know that because you've likely bought something there. We mean, who hasn't over the age of 18? The fact is most people are using the site means Jeff Bezos is a very rich man. Bloomberg, that reports Bezos' wealth to have risen as high as $161 billion in 2018, tells us that he owns 16% of the company Amazon. You already know how much the company is worth and how much that company pulls in, so that 16% he owns is where the lion's share of this money comes from. Bloomberg also says he has sold some of his shares in Amazon to fund his space exploration company Blue Origin. But basically when you consider that Bezos owns 78.8 million shares of Amazon, and each Amazon share is worth $1,636.46 at the time of writing, well, you can see why he's so rich. If you're wondering how Amazon.com makes money, well, it's mainly from general retail and the money people pay to sell stuff there, either as individuals or professional retail third-party sellers, but also from shipping fees, warehouse fees, deals, and more. The chunk of cash comes from retail and a bit more from third-party sellers on Amazon.com, but as we said, Amazon Web Services has also done well, and according to Forbes, it saw a revenue of around $25 billion for 2018. Amazon Prime brings in around another $6 billion, and a few more billions are made from ads and things such as co-branded credit card agreements. If you're wondering what sells best on Amazon, books are only in third place now, with household items coming in first place, and toys and games in second place. Finally, we might also look at this opening paragraph from a Fortune article written in 2019. Those wondering how many zeros Amazon, which is valued at nearly $800 billion, has to pay in federal taxes might be surprised to learn that its check to the IRS will read exactly zero dollars. We are told this is perfectly legal. We'll let one expert explain it, albeit vaguely. 
He said, Amazon avoids paying federal taxes using a variety of tax credits and tax exemptions that are legal and built into the U.S. federal tax code. What he meant by these exemptions was mostly centered around a research and development tax credit, recent tax deductions for investments in equipment, and also something called stock-based compensation. So there you go. That's how Jeff Bezos became the richest man in the universe. You don't have to be the richest man in the world to have amazing cybersecurity like Amazon has. Dashlane is your one and only tool that you need to keep your digital information and logins safe from hackers and malware. That's why we love using it. Dashlane offers breach alerts to let you know when your accounts have been compromised, and an easy-to-use VPN to keep you safe while browsing. And their password storage feature lets you quickly sign in and out of any account on any device securely. With so many threats out there to the average person, Dashlane is the one and only tool you need to keep you and your digital information safe today. Head on over to www.dashlane.com slash infographics for a free 30-day trial, and if you use the coupon code infographics, you can get 10% off a premium subscription today. What do you think about one man having all this cash? What do you think about Amazon? Also, be sure to check out our other video, How This Man Made $85 Billion. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.